What if the last digit of your birth year could reveal your destiny? This question might seem mystical, even puzzling, but according to certain Zen and Buddhist teachings, the numbers in our life can serve as profound symbols, guiding us toward self-discovery. Imagine that your birth year, particularly its final digit, contains hidden wisdom that shapes your path. Could this be a key to your destiny? Zen philosophy emphasizes mindfulness and presence, while Buddhist teachings speak of karma, cause and effect. As Gautama Buddha once said, all that we are is the result of what we have thought, it is founded on our thoughts, it is made up of our thoughts. Numbers, then, could be reflections of those thoughts. Intentions, and patterns that have shaped our lives since birth, let us embark on a journey of reflection, exploring how the last digit of your birth year can symbolize different paths of destiny. In this story, you will discover the meaning behind each number and how it can influence your life. But remember, this is not a rigid formula, instead, it's a mirror that reflects the energy and potential within you. The journey begins, the number zero. For those whose birth year ends in zero, this number holds the essence of the infinite, the cycle of life, and rebirth. It represents completion and new beginnings, like the circle of samsara, the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, the Buddha taught that life is transient. And everything is subject to change. Those born with the energy of zero are often confronted with this reality from a young age. They may experience moments of intense transformation, losses that seem devastating but lead to deeper growth. At first, they may resist these changes, feeling like they're stuck in a never-ending cycle of suffering. But through Zen mindfulness, they eventually understand that every end is a new beginning, their destiny is one of renewal. Like a lotus flower that blooms after rising from the mud, those born with the last digit zero must learn to embrace change and trust the process of life. Their life path will take them through many cycles, but each time they emerge wiser and more resilient. The zero signifies the infinite potential that exists within each moment. In Buddhist teachings, the recognition of impermanence allows individuals to flow with life rather than resist it. Those born in years ending in zero are destined to find wisdom through accepting life's constant changes and transformations, the path of exploration, the number one. For those born in years ending in one, the number symbolizes individuality, new beginnings, and a pioneering spirit. The energy of one is that of the seeker, someone who looks beyond the ordinary to uncover deeper truths. In Zen, the journey inward is as important as the outward quest for knowledge. Those with the number one in their birth year are often curious. Driven by a desire to understand themselves and the world. From an early age, they are drawn to adventure, not just in the physical sense, but in terms of ideas, philosophies, and spiritual exploration, Buddha spoke of the importance of walking one's path with intention, and for these individuals, their destiny is to blaze new trails, often walking where no one has before. At times, this can be a lonely journey. However, as they cultivate mindfulness and inner peace, they learn that true fulfillment comes from within, not from external validation, the number one in Buddhism can be seen as the beginning of an individual's journey toward enlightenment. It signifies the courage to break free from societal expectations and seek one's truth. Their destiny is to carve out a unique path, one that allows them to grow both spiritually and personally, the gentle strength, the number two. For those whose birth year ends in two, their destiny is connected to harmony, balance, and relationships. The number two signifies duality, the yin and yang of life. In Buddhist philosophy, 
the middle way teaches that true happiness comes from avoiding extremes and finding balance. People born with the number two often excel in building connections. From a young age, they are naturally attuned to the emotions and needs of others. However, their challenge lies in not losing themselves in these relationships. Their path is one of learning how to give without depleting their own energy and finding the balance between selflessness and self-care. Buddha's teachings on compassion resonate deeply with those who carry the number two. They are destined to create harmony wherever they go, whether in personal relationships or within their community. Their greatest lesson is learning how to maintain peace within themselves, even in times of chaos, the number two reflects the Buddhist teaching of interconnectedness. Compassion and empathy are at the heart of the individual's destiny, but they must learn the delicate balance between serving others and honoring their own spiritual path. Finding harmony is their ultimate purpose, the creative visionary, the number three. Those whose birth year ends in three are destined for a life filled with creativity, joy, and expression. The number three is a symbol of creativity and the energy of bringing ideas into reality. In Zen, creativity is seen as an expression of one's inner self, a form of mindfulness in action, Buddha once taught, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. For individuals connected to the number three, their thoughts are often vivid and imaginative, leading them to explore art, music, and writing as forms of self-expression. But their journey isn't just about creating, it's about using creativity as a tool for self-discovery and enlightenment. At times, they may struggle with self-doubt, wondering if their creative pursuits have any real value. But through meditation and mindfulness, they learn to trust the process, understanding that creativity is not about the end product but the act of creation itself. The number three symbolizes the Buddhist teaching of mindfulness through creative expression. Their destiny involves using their talents not only to bring joy to others but also to connect more deeply with their inner truth. Creativity becomes their vehicle for spiritual awakening, the foundation builder, the number four. For those born in years ending in four, the number represents stability, structure, and a strong foundation. The number four is rooted in the material world, and those connected to it often seek to build something lasting and meaningful, in Buddhist teachings. The foundation of a person's spiritual practice is essential. Without a strong foundation, growth is impossible. Similarly, people born with the number four are natural builders, whether it's creating a secure home, a thriving business, or a committed relationship. They value discipline and hard work, and their destiny is to create something enduring. Their challenge, however, is learning to let go of control. Zen teaches that while discipline is necessary, one must also remain flexible, like bamboo that bends in the wind. These individuals may struggle with rigidity, but their journey is about finding balance between structure and adaptability. The number four in Buddhism symbolizes the building blocks of spiritual practice, discipline, effort, and commitment. Those with this number are destined to create stability in their lives but must learn to flow with the unexpected, understanding that true strength lies in balance, the adventurous soul, the number five. For those whose birth year ends in five, their destiny is one of adventure, freedom, and constant growth. The number five is often associated with change, movement, and exploration, in Buddhism, the concept of impermanence is key to understanding life's true nature. Those born with the number five are destined to experience the world in all its beauty and complexity. They are often restless, seeking new experiences and challenges. 
Their spiritual path is about embracing the unknown and letting go of attachments to any one way of being. At times, they may feel lost or without direction, but Zen teaches that the journey itself is more important than the destination. Their destiny is to explore the vastness of life, not to settle for comfort, but to continually evolve and grow through each experience. The number five resonates with the Buddhist teaching of impermanence. Their destiny is to experience the world fully, embracing change and uncertainty. Through their adventures, they learn the deeper truths of life, shedding attachments and discovering their true nature. The Nurturer, the number six. For those born in years ending in six, their path is one of nurturing, service, and compassion. The number six is often associated with family, community, and responsibility. In Buddhist philosophy, the act of serving others is seen as a path to enlightenment. People born with the number six are natural caregivers. They often find themselves in roles where they are called to support others, whether through family, work, or community service. Their destiny is one of deep empathy and compassion, but they must also learn the lesson of boundaries. Buddha taught that compassion for others must also include compassion for oneself. For those with the energy of six, their challenge is learning not to overextend themselves. They must find the balance between giving and receiving, understanding that self-care is just as important as caring for others, the number six reflects the Buddhist teachings on compassion and service. Their destiny involves nurturing and supporting others, but they must learn to do so in a way that honors their own well-being. In this way, they find true fulfillment on their spiritual path, the seeker of knowledge, the number seven. Those whose birth year ends in seven are often drawn to a life of spiritual exploration and deep contemplation. The number seven is considered a sacred number in many spiritual traditions, and in Buddhism. It is often associated with wisdom and enlightenment, individuals with the number seven are seekers of truth. From a young age, they are curious about the mysteries of life and are drawn to philosophical or spiritual teachings. Their journey is one of constant questioning, searching for answers that lie beyond the surface. In Buddhism, there is a teaching known as the pursuit of wisdom, where individuals are encouraged to meditate, reflect, and understand the deeper nature of existence, for those born with the number seven, this path of wisdom can sometimes feel isolating. While others may be content with material success or societal achievements, the person connected to seven is always looking for more. Often retreating into solitude to find clarity. They may struggle with balancing the material world and the spiritual realm, but as they mature, they learn to integrate both aspects into their lives, their destiny is to uncover truths not just for themselves but for others as well. As they deepen their practice, they become teachers and guides, sharing their insights with the world. Their wisdom is born from inner reflection and meditation, and their purpose is to illuminate the path for others. The number seven represents the Buddhist path of wisdom and enlightenment. Individuals with this number are seekers of spiritual truth, destined to explore life's deeper meanings and to share their wisdom with others. Their challenge is to balance their inner and outer worlds, using their knowledge to serve humanity, the powerful leader, the number eight. For those born in years ending in eight, their destiny revolves around power, abundance, and leadership. The number eight is often associated with material success, authority, and balance between the spiritual and physical realms. In Buddhist philosophy, true leadership is about guiding others with wisdom and compassion, not through control or dominance. People with the energy of eight often find themselves in positions of influence, 
whether in their careers, communities, or personal lives. From a young age, they are driven by a desire to create success, but their journey is not simply about accumulating wealth or status. In Zen, there is a teaching that true abundance comes from mastering the self and aligning with the flow of life, those connected to the number eight must learn the lesson of humility. While they have the potential for great material success, their spiritual path is about using that power for the greater good. Their challenge is to avoid becoming attached to external validation and instead lead from a place of inner wisdom and compassion. Their destiny is one of leadership, but it's leadership with heart. As they develop spiritually, they realize that true power comes from helping others rise and from cultivating a deep sense of gratitude and balance in their own lives. The number eight in Buddhism signifies balance, power, and responsibility. Their destiny is to lead others, but with humility and compassion. By mastering themselves and letting go of ego, they can create true abundance in all aspects of life, becoming an example of enlightened leadership, the humanitarian, the number nine. For those born in years ending in nine, the number represents compassion, global awareness, and a deep sense of duty to humanity. The number nine is associated with completion, wisdom, and selflessness. In Buddhist teachings, compassion for all living beings is a central tenet, and those with the energy of nine embody this principle fully, people born under this number are often drawn to humanitarian causes and feel a deep responsibility to help others. From a young age, they may feel a strong sense of justice and a desire to make the world a better place. Their spiritual journey is about cultivating universal compassion, not just for those in their immediate circle but for all beings. Buddha's teachings on interconnectedness resonate strongly with these individuals. They understand that their actions have a ripple effect, and they strive to live in a way that benefits the collective. At times, their deep empathy can be overwhelming, and they may feel burdened by the suffering they witness. However, through Zen practices of mindfulness and compassion, they learn to maintain a balance between helping others and caring for themselves. Their destiny is one of service to humanity, but it's not about martyrdom. Their journey is about finding joy and fulfillment in uplifting others, while also recognizing the importance of self-care and inner peace. The number nine reflects the Buddhist teaching of compassion and service to all beings. Their destiny is to contribute to the betterment of humanity, but they must learn to balance their desire to help others with the need for personal well-being. Through this balance, they achieve true spiritual fulfillment. Each number, from zero to nine, represents a unique path of destiny. In Zen and Buddhist teachings, numbers are not rigid rules but symbols that guide us toward deeper self-understanding and spiritual growth. Whether you are born with the energy of transformation, creativity, leadership, or compassion, your birth year's last digit reflects an aspect of your journey, but remember, this is not a prophecy set in stone. As Gautama Buddha taught, we are the creators of our own destiny. Our thoughts, actions, and intentions shape the path we walk. The last digit of your birth year is merely a reflection of the potential that lies within you, potential that can be realized through mindfulness, meditation, and compassionate action. In the end, no matter what number you carry, your destiny is what you make of it. By embracing the lessons of Zen and Buddhist philosophy, you can navigate the twists and turns of life with wisdom, peace, and a deeper understanding of your true nature, the wisdom of numbers and the path ahead, the symbolism of numbers, especially the last digit of your birth year, offers a lens through which you can view your life's purpose. It's an invitation to reflect on your strengths, challenges, and opportunities for growth. However, 
This wisdom is not separate from you, it's within you, waiting to be uncovered, as the Buddha said, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. This teaching reminds us that no matter the number we carry, our destiny is one of self-discovery and self-compassion. Each of us has the potential to awaken to our true nature. To find peace within ourselves, and to share that peace with the world, your birth year's last digit is like a compass, pointing you toward the lessons and opportunities that await you. Whether you're destined for leadership, creativity, compassion, or spiritual wisdom, remember that your journey is uniquely yours. And through mindfulness, presence, and the wisdom of Zen and Buddhism, you can walk that path with confidence, clarity, and a deep sense of purpose. Numbers, like everything else in life, are tools for reflection. They help us see patterns, tendencies, and possibilities, but they do not define us. In Buddhist philosophy, the ultimate teaching is that we are responsible for our own liberation. The number you carry is a guide, not a limit, and your destiny unfolds with every mindful step you take. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.